You know, the COVID crisis was especially hard on so many of our seniors, but this summer, the great thing, events are returning, allowing them to re-engage with one another. And with us this morning, Kay McHone, a Senior Services Manager for the Greater West Bloomfield Parks Commission. Great to have you with us. Hi, Ronnie. Thanks for having me. How are you doing today? The seniors must be so excited to get out and um, take some of these trips because they're embarrassing. Yeah, absolutely. We actually have some seniors out today um, headed down. I believe they're out to uh, Blake's today and doing a UPIX flowers at the Lavender Farm. Our, um, our transportation coordinator and the bus drivers certainly love to get out on those trips with, the, with these guys. They're packing the buses and they're full steam ahead. Okay, I hope they're bringing you back some lavender and donuts. I hope so too, Ronnie. I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's we know that um, the Parks Department was so creative during COVID to try to bring some of the seniors together. I remember um, doing bingo out in the parking lot and some of those events. What has it meant to some of the seniors, though, to be able to get together once again? It's really um, a special thing. We just last week on Friday, we had uh, 15 veterans who came together to eat a nice fried chicken dinner in the tents behind the Recreation Activities Center. And it was really nice. It doesn't matter um, what space is available. They'll come together wherever we'll have them. So you don't necessarily need the four walls to call home. We're just congregating where we can and making the best of it. They come out full force, full steam ahead. Every Monday and Tuesday, our open game room is popping. Um, our stretch and tone classes are seeing 30 more 80 people sometimes so yeah they're definitely congregating they're definitely wanting to socialize and be together it's really a wonderful thing because you know for so many people it's it's feeling connected to mm -hmm. one another especially if you can do that with other people in your own age group yeah, absolutely. And we certainly strive to keep seniors connected here, um, giving them opportunities. Uh, we have a full slate of programming ahead approaching um, in the fall, everything from your traditional tailgates to your senior single mingle to your uh, <laughs> double the bingo even. So <laughs> have you ever uh, played Love Connection? I haven't, but I'll put it on my radar. <laughs> hey, and can I talk to you? Like, how do you come up with some of these things? So we actually have a crew of some very thoughtful um, programmers between them, they have a lot of experience. Um, they try hard not to reinvent the wheel, so they always have tools for the next year, but somehow they still come out with more creative stuff every year. Um, and, and even though we're not reinventing the wheel, they still put their tang on it every time. So the senior single mingle group, for example, is something that's pretty new. Um, and it's largely like women that came, but we found some great connections and cultivated some great friendships. And now we have something that is kind of gonna keep going. I think you guys need uh, shirts, single mingle. I think you're probably <laughs> right. <laughs> um, so uh, with that, what's been some of the most popular events? Well, like I said, uh, the bingo is fairly popular. We have a connect member only bingo situation where it was going for once a month, but the demand was strong. So we started to do it twice a month in the fall or actually this summer, I think we started twice a month. Um, and so that's been really great. We have some sponsors that work with us for that, providing nice prizes for the bingo members. Often they'll have themed snacks and treats with that. And bingo is one of those things that will just never shake. We the people like the bingo. <laughs> it is a game that doesn't go out of style right yeah, I mean absolutely. my mom was a bingo fanatic just uh, a fanatic hey, it's okay can I ask you I know that um, there were plans to move some of the seniors over to the old Abbott middle school but now with the issues with Roosevelt it looks like the Roosevelt students are going to have to utilize that building so where does that stand for uh, the seniors and some of the events sure yeah we're um, we're all very disappointed about what happened but we are are making great community partners, great connections. We're all remaining hopeful and positive. Um, and we are fully functioning and operating here at the Recreation Activities Center. Um, we have lots of support with our community partners. And, and again, like you saw with the parks team and the pandemic, with all of the creative outside of the box thinking, we're, we've never stopped. We are working diligently behind the scenes to provide spaces that are adequate um, for our seniors, for the community members at large. And um, you'll never catch us uh, sitting still or sitting idle. We're here to serve seniors. Um, we don't need four walls to do that. We're doing it confidently and we will continue our um, above average service to these guys. Mm. I, I really like the tents. Yeah, um, because that, that's pretty new, right? The tents, I was over there, they, I was like, where did come from? Yeah. They program 
about the tents over COVID uh, throughout that time. But I do think right now we have a nice partnership with the library and other people up at the Civic Center who are benefiting from the use of that space. Um, yeah, we have like a great little community up here in West Bloomfield. Everybody is really rising to the occasion to support each other. And all of these little setbacks, be they negative or whatever, everybody's really positive and really just rallying around each other and around these seniors and these students and all these institutions that are really coming together. Yeah, I think, you know, for so many of us, um, you know, going through COVID and being stuck in our homes and, you know, the kids not being able to get into the classroom or seniors not being able to go and, and participate in bingo or single mingles, that just being together matters so much more. It's not about the walls. It's about yeah. being together. Absolutely. It's definitely enhanced the camaraderie a bit, right? We're looking for any reason to get out and be together. And we, we definitely have a different idea of what that looks like post pandemic and, and where our standards are for that. Right, you know, it, it really kind of put everything, um, you know, in in priority, right, with that. Hey, can I ask you when we're talking about the senior, so for someone that maybe has never utilized your services before, how can they find out more and is there an age limit? Sure, so you can find out more by coming and stepping up at the Recreation Activities Center. Our whole senior services team is here and we're ready to answer all of those questions, get you information as far as membership, what that entails. Um, we are actively working on redefining what that looks like to us and what the demand is from the seniors and things like that. But we do always have our full uh, slate of activities available online that you can register there, get more information there. Like I say, stop in anytime. Uh, we're generally here from 8 a.m. till 4.30 p.m., I believe. Um, and you can call me anytime. <laughs> okay, he's like, I'm always available. I am. Shoot smoke signals up in the air and I will find <laughs> you. If you're a senior, we will find you. <laughs> Before we say goodbye, so is there a minimum age? Because I see some of the events that you all have going on, especially the trips, yeah. you know, and I'm like, wait, can I do that? So we do have, there's a very loose parameter of what is a senior overall, you can ask. <laughs> <laughs> but um, for for our situation, I believe we do right around 55 and up for adults. Um, I might be wrong, I'm still new to the game here. But um, <laughs> yeah, so we do have different kinds of programming. We have seniors, we have adult, we have something for everyone here at WB Parks. That is so great. Uh, what's some some of the big ones for the summer? I know you said the, the Lavender Farm today. Yeah, the Lavender Farm today, and then they actually have Muddy Acres Farm in August, and then they're doing an Atwater Brewery trip, and that's in <laughs> July as well. <laughs> so you guys are busy. They're busy, yes, yes, they're very busy. Now, how many people typically can be on one of these trips? Because you guys have the transportation as well. Right, so some trips they have to schedule, so they, they have a variety of trips from their WB Parks trips to their restaurant Ramblers. So some trips they have to make three different trips to one restaurant. So sometimes they might have to go three days to, to one restaurant because they have so many people that want to join. Or sometimes they'll take maybe two buses down to the Eastern Market or things like that. So it just depends on the demand, which is popping. <laughs> yeah, I sometimes um, because I get the, you know, the magazine that comes in like the fall and the summer one, and I go and look at some of the events that you have planned for seniors just to get like, you know, ideas for date night and stuff. Right. <laughs> you, know, you, you guys come up with some great things. I know you've been to, like you said, Eastern Market, the DIA, yeah. you know, some films. So you and your team do such a great job over there. Definitely a great team here. Well, and how are how is it going? By the way, we have about a minute left. Uh, things it's going, going it's going great. We we really do. I know we we're circling back from the first time we met here, and it's really been a great transition. WB Parks is an amazing team. Um, I couldn't have landed somewhere better, and the group of seniors are phenomenal. As I explained before, a melting pot of totally empathetic, compassionate people. Oh well, we're lucky to have you as part of the community as well. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Ronnie.